Hello and welcome back to the PHP 101 course. In this video we're going to continue our conversation about object-oriented programming and we're going to discuss uh, visibility now. So now that we can do inheritance, uh, let's talk about visibility. So I'm going to go ahead and duplicate the inheritance file and I'm going to call this visibility. All right. And we'll go ahead and close the inheritance file. So now uh, you've noted, you've probably noticed that I've started all these properties out um, with the word public. And in fact, I've done that with methods as well. You don't have to do that. Um, if you just uh, don't declare it, public is the default. But um, let's just go ahead and talk about visibility. There are three options when it comes to visibility. There can be public, protected, and private. So let's see what each one of these do. All right, so if I have um, a public, uh, a public um, property, I can just outside of that class, once it's instantiated, I can go down here and let's just get rid of some of this stuff to, to make this obvious. So I've instantiated a house one and a house two for us to use here. And then what I want to do, I'm also going to get rid of um, some of this other stuff here. Actually, let's just get rid of all of this here, just to clean this up and make it a little easier to read. So what I want to do here is we're just going to try to run, let's just say echo house one, and then I'm just going to echo out the temp. So house one temp. Okay. So if I go back here and I hit refresh, I get 65. I get 65 because that's the value of house. Okay, we haven't run any other functions to change it or anything like, or any methods to change it. So uh, let's change that. Let's say what happens if I change public to protected. Okay, and now I go and hit refresh. Well, now I get a fatal error, and that's because you can't access a protected property outside of an object. Okay, so what I'm trying to do here is I've instantiated a house object, and then down here I've, I've well, I've instantiated here, and outside of the class, I'm trying to access that. But this property is now protected, which means only the, um, only the, the, the object that is directly uh, instantiated or created or constructed from this class has access to it. Or, since it's protected, the child class also has access, okay? But nothing outside of that. So let's change this back to public, and I just want to show you something real quick. If I change that to public, outside of an object, I can actually just, right before I echo that, I can actually do house1 temp, and I could change that to a thousand and 99 degrees if I want okay and then when it echoes out it's going it doesn't care it's just gonna say 1099 degrees okay so even outside of these classes I can just do whatever I want I can change these properties again if this is set to protect it I can't do that okay so it gives a little bit of protection from other classes or other code uh, changing something that I, I only want this object to be able to update or change, okay? So that's the reason I would set that to protected. So let's set this back to uh, protected real quick. And now what I want to do is inside of, this doesn't make any sense, but let's just say inside of the public for, uh, function turn on pool lights, I want to echo this, um, let's see, I want to echo this temp just inside there. And uh, what we'll do down here is we're just going to run house2 and uh, we'll say turn on pool lights. So let's see what happens when we do that. Well, um, I must have right you have to call that with parentheses sorry about that and we'll refresh here and now it will echo that 
um, because this is protected. So I can access this this uh, property in the child class, which is fancy house, and in the class that it belongs to. What about if I would set this now to private? And we go back here and refresh the page. Well, now it it says um, unprotected, undefined property, fancy house. So it's undefined on house two. Why is that? Well, that's because this is private to the to the parent class. When I when I extend that class, anything that's private doesn't get inherited by its child. So what happens is is temp. I may not want to pass all my properties as a parent down to my child because some of them are private and I need to keep those and I don't want them to have those. So that's why you would set up a private uh, property. Um, not even the child class has access to access to it if it is a pro private property. So again, let's just a quick recap. A public property uh, can be accessed from pretty much anywhere. It can be you know echoed or changed or anything like that. Protected um, can also can only be changed or accessed um, from within the the object or the child object. And then private can only be accessed uh, in the class that it's defined in, which in this case is the parent class, and it will not be inherited when you extend um, when you extend that class with another class. So the object uh, house two, if this is set to private, no longer has access to the temp. Okay, so that's properties. That's visibility on properties. So now. Let's talk about visibility on methods, okay? Well, when you have a method, oftentimes methods, you don't want to just have really long methods, so sometimes it's really useful inside of your classes to go ahead and define um, methods that call other methods from within this um, deal here. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to create a new uh, method here in the in the parent class and I'm just gonna write for now I'm gonna call it a public function um, and let's just say this one let's call this one paint door okay and then it, it takes a color alright and the color what we'll do is we'll set this uh, door color equal to color Okay, so essentially what this method is going to do is it's going to change the color of the door. So let's um let's go down here now and we'll on house two we're going to say uh, paint door. All right, and we'll give it a color of purple. And we go back here and we'll refresh. Um, well, it'd be best if we also let's echo out house two door color so we can see that so now you can see the door color for house two is purple because we ran this uh, paint door method right here but let's go ahead now and see what happens if we change this uh, paint door to a protected method all right so if I refresh that we get a fatal error and that's because paint door is not within the context. You can't call a protected method outside of an object or its class. Okay, so we can't call paint door out here. Rather, what we would have is um, maybe uh, the constructor would call that. So instead of saying door color is equal to door color, um, we could put that in a constructor, and we would call this paint door and we pass down the door color parameter from here. Okay. Now, usually when you're just setting these properties, you wouldn't create um, a method to do that, but these methods would generally do something else besides that, okay? But this is just for demonstration purposes. So now, I can get rid of this right here, and we can change this to purple. 
So now when I refresh, um, you see that we're back to purple. And that's because the, the constructor can, in fact, call paint door. So what happens now if uh, we change this protected uh, method to a private method? So let's go ahead and refresh, and it still works. And that's because um, it is this... The reason this works is because um, this public constructor is actually inherited because it's public down to the uh, child class. However, um, if I do something like, for example, uh, let's see, let's take this out of here and let's just create a, another method. And again, this is a useless method, but we would call this public function, uh, I don't know, we'll just call it change or set door color and we'll give it a color here and then what we'll do is we'll call this uh, paint door and color alright so if I set this to private and then um, inside let's see if I set this to private and then somewhere here inside of the fancy house let's just say when anytime we turn on the and this is again this is really dumb but anytime we turn on the pool lights we want to do something magic which is we want to run this set door color and we're going to change that to red so if you turn on the pool lights the door will actually magically change to red so let's see what happens here. Uh, I made a silly mistake here, but down here, if what I want to do is run this um, set echo here, what I want to try to do is I want to try to run the um, turn on pool lights method. And on this turn pool lights method, we're calling set door color. Now remember set door color is, is actually a private uh, method here and so since that's private uh, let's go here and refresh and we actually get uh, an error a fatal error and it's saying hey you you can't call this set door color from the fancy house you know why because fancy house um, setting the door color is a private ordeal okay so it's private the the, the parent says it's pot private so the child or subclass can no longer um, run that but if I would change that to protected we go back here and refresh uh, we didn't get an error because that is working now okay so just to recap um, public and private are public properties can be uh, accessed and manipulated outside of the class and in the subclass a protected property uh, can can be uh, manipulated or accessed inside of its class or its subclass. A private uh, property can only be accessed in the class that it was declared in. And it's pretty much the same thing for methods, uh, but methods can be public methods can be called from a subclass or outside of the class. A protected method uh, can can be called only from within this the class it was declared in and or the child class and a private uh, method can only be called in the class that it is declared in so I hope that helps with visibility I know that you may be a little confused with that and you may get mixed up here and there but it's really no big deal just kinda know that it exists and at this point in the game I really just want you guys to know this stuff is there and to have a basic understanding of it and not even really to understand why you would do this yet um, but as you program you will understand this stuff uh, as you come into uh, situations um, when I do this stuff I always kinda go with the approach of better safe than sorry um, so I will often set things a little too restrictive and then back off when I need to okay um, but 
Again, that is visibility, and there's only three options. It's public, protected, and private. So I hope that helps, and I will see you in the next video. And I think in the next video what we're going to do is cover um, uh, static. Uh, there's a static keyword, and it's going to break a few of our rules that we've already talked about, and I'll show you what I mean when we get there.